team. What are your thoughts on, on how that played out in the end for you guys? Yeah. Uh, we had quite a focus on the first quarter. And you would know it now, but they kicked they kicked five goals from centre bounce in the first quarter. And <clears throat> across the course of the game, they kicked five goals from our D50 turnovers. So um, they're quite rare normally, but that's 10 goals in the game. And... Um, you know, we knew that territory against the side that's so strong defensively was going to be really important. And uh, in the first quarter, we just couldn't get any territory at all. We actually scored okay when we got it forward, but we just couldn't get it there often enough. And their pressure was too consistently at a high level for us to be able to get through often enough to to be able to really challenge them. And we got back to I think we got back to two goals, uh, but we we just weren't able to take our chances when it when it really mattered. Um, you know, I thought they were consistently had high energy around the ball and good pressure and um, you know we had some, some good moments and we were able to do some good things but you know defensively I think they're really you know stable and very strong in that area of the ground and caused us enough trouble that we weren't weren't able to, to get quite close enough. Those stats you touched on and the fact that you were making it such a focus to start well probably describes a fair bit of what I'm about to ask you that we saw the cameras saw you quite animated at, at quarter time huddle and Getting the players' face a little bit, but can you tell us a bit about what you talked about? Yeah, I mean, I went I went to the midfielder straight away, and we can't you can't concede five goals from centre bounces in a quarter, and it's not like we weren't well planned. It's not things that we weren't expecting, and the players need to. Yeah, you know, I think on our journey, there's there's different stages where players are gonna. It, what what we're asking, it might be beyond us, but today wasn't wasn't that. Today we were we were capable of playing so much better in the early part of the game and we come in over six goals down at you know, I think we conceded nine goals in the first quarter and clearances we've been demolished in. Uh, so the midfield knowing that we have to hold ourselves to a higher standard than that if we're gonna go where we wanna go and uh, at different stages across the course of the year it's been we're just not actually capable of doing the things that we're asking and being consistently good enough in certain phases of the game. But today, first quarter in particular, didn't feel like that at all. Felt like we knew exactly, you know, at half time, I showed the players the board from before the game, the whiteboard with the notes on it, and it was exactly the game that had played out. If we win clearance, we win territory, we can win the game. Uh, and, and we weren't able to do it in the first quarter, and um, that was the. Unfortunately, we just weren't able to peg that back. It's, it's hard playing. Oh, sorry, it's hard playing catch up footy, obviously. But did you think you were a real chance in three quarter time? Yeah, I mean, I was because we had been in that position. I mean, it's just been a crazy round of football too. So, sort of said, I'd kind of rather rather be us than them right now because you know holding a lead has been really difficult across the, the course of this round, and we found it last week as well. So. You know, I thought we had real energy and there was real optimism going into three quarter time. Really excited about what would happen at the, the start of the last quarter. If we kicked that first one, here we go. We just need to make sure we're, we're playing the right way to, to get that first goal. And um, obviously that didn't happen. And then it was one, two, three, and then the game was the game was gone before it had started really. So, um, I mean, well, I don't think we deserve to win, to be honest. You know, I think they their first quarter and the, and the first 15 minutes of the last quarter was just we just weren't able to handle what they were capable of, and um, you know I was disappointed because I, you know, we we played them here earlier in the year, and we we got the win, and um, we ran them down late, and we thought, you know, this is okay, we've got this in our kit bag, but um, wasn't to be. What did you make of the time um, St Kilda put into Sicily after he just absolutely dominated early in the year? Yeah, I mean I think Sis is such a he's such a dominant player across the competition, and. Um, yeah, you know, I think the thing about Sis is, is offense and defense. You know, there's a lot of talk about you know the defensive capabilities, and he's just a fantastic defender. But offensive, he offensively, he's such a threat as well. So, you know, we were we were pretty sure that they were going to put some work into him coming into this game. He played really well against them last time, as well as his game last week. So, uh, I was I thought Sis worked his way through it quite well, and you know tried a few different things, and was able to still have an influence across the day, but. You know, not as not as dominant as he has been, but I still thought he made a contribution. Just touching on going back to what you were saying a little bit earlier about how you really felt like this was a game you could have won. It sounds like this is as disappointing a loss as you've had for a while. <clears throat> um, no, I mean, I'm, it's not as disappointing as some other performances where there weren't some positives. I think today, you know, I looked at 
Yeah, there's some some aspects of the game like Luke Bruce's kick six is pretty. <laughs> You know, he's, he's uh, getting a little bit long in the tooth and he actually can't talk still. Um, so he's doing a, he's really doing a good job. I thought um, Brendan Ryan in his first game, you saw some things and, wow, that was that was what we hoped. It, well, you know, I think when you play a first game, you hope that you see those things. And, you know, I think we saw enough to say that there's something there with him. So that was really, really pleasing. I thought some of our um, other players, I thought Will Day's game, you know, he wasn't as prolific as he has been, but used as a bit of a Mr. Fix-It, had a really good leadership moment where he kicked a goal that was really important. Third quarter, uh, Mitch Lewis, I thought, was was pretty solid, you know, in his consistent performance. Um, yeah, Warps has been really... Con- his last... Probably his last month has been as good as as good as anyone's. Um, you know, he's really really strong. And <clears throat> guys like Dylan Moore, so you know the toughness and the consistency that he's playing. I think when you look at the individual parts of our players and the and the morale and energy. So early in the early in the year, if we were six goals down at quarter time, it was going to be probably be an ugly game. So to get back to within two goals and to be right there uh, and not quite um, be able to get there, there is a positive to make in it. But um, I'm not as disappointed this week as last week because we didn't throw, you know. But I think we just need to be consistently holding ourselves to a standard that's a bit higher than it is, and that's part of our journey is what is acceptable, what is the level we are capable of is growing consistently week after week after week. And um, we get more and more disappointed the further on the journey we go when we don't win. So, um, yeah, I was disappointed for us today. The sub in the second quarter, is that the <coughs> release you've had to use the... Tactical sub at any stage? Uh, I think we've, I think we've done it once before. Um, I don't remember which game it was. I remember there was a game where we needed a bit more run, and McKenzie was the sub, and so we brought him on to get a bit more run into the game. Uh, and this this one, we just were the centre, the stoppages weren't going well, and we were just a, we were sort of felt like we were one tall down, and we suspected that that might be the case coming into the game. Really hoped that we would be able to to get through the game with without needing another tall um, but Blanky, Blanky being the sub we knew that we could bring him on and that would give us a bit of flexibility adding a tall to the side and uh, it wasn't anything about Seamus's game that made him the sub it was just we needed to replace a, a small defender with a tall one and uh, we looked a bit better balanced after that so you know as much as the playing the centre bounces and those things you know the, the players were really well prepared for that and we couldn't execute it I think you know at selection um, we, we, we sort of hoped that we'd be able to get that done and we'd be able to still get it done in the air, but they were a bit too potent in front of the ball for us, so Blanky, Blanky made a good contribution when he came on. How did James take it? <laughs> ah, yeah, I usually leave that one with the line coaches, <laughs> but he... Uh, no, I mean, I think all the guys who have been subbed, they always understand that it's part of the... The, under, the the big big picture of the game and it wasn't it wasn't like he was playing badly it was that we needed another tool so um, yeah he was he was the the unlucky one today.